Now, earlier we discussed whether or not you can think yourself better, but could your home do with a little bit of TLC too? In today's Daily Mail, journalist Flick Everett has been discussing the benefits of house healers. Now, these are people who visit your home to banish negative vibes or dark energy. <laughs> Stick with it. And uh, just this weekend it was reported that Katie Price has decided to sell up, having had enough of the two ghosts that were apparently haunting her mansion. Yeah, I thought that was her chest. <laughs> for their own, haven't they? <laughs> They've been reincarnated. Okay, but do you believe houses can really have negative vibes that make them difficult to live in? Um, yeah, well, sort of. I think you just know when you're over a house and it's had negative vibes. The, the house that my ex-husband and I moved into was our first house after moving out of London to the country. You know, we argued there, we split up there. I had, I had Jake there, I was depressed there. Then when my husband moved out, um, I had a terrible relationship there. And one day I woke up and I thought, I'm over this house, I'm over it. Nothing anybody could have done bring that woman in, whatever, it wouldn't have worked because you just know when I just thought, I hate this house, I want somewhere to start an absolute fresh clean, so I bought uh, the house that I'm in now, even though it's haunted uh, apparently, Cage Price, you, you, nothing on mine, love. They're friendly, though, aren't they? Uh, mine are fr yeah, they like, they like all the hustle and bustle. But the, my house has got a really... Everyone that comes into my house says what a lovely feeling it's got. You know, it's warm, I've got the fires, I've got candles. And I think I've created, because I've wanted to, a really happy place. And also, let's not forget, I've been there two years. I've not had a terrible relationship. I've had no man living in my house. You haven't so had a relationship. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me? You haven't had a relationship, haven't, exactly. have you? Exactly. So I haven't had a man living in there a one. to create... You haven't had one. Oh, all right. <laughs> How do you know? Because you're always going on about it. Oh, sure. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean about negativity you know I mean? in yeah. a house. I really do, because... <laughs> Because <laughs> um, I think, I believe that when you buy a house, you, it, it's a bit like falling in love with, you know, a person. You have to have a kind of passion for the house, chemistry. don't you? Chemistry with yeah. the house. And I have to say the house that we live in, I don't really have that kind of passion for. And it, uh, there is quite a negative vibe for me, which I'm, I fight with this all the time. Well, house. no, but you've got to understand. It's, the house. Thing is, it's not the house I was meant to live in, Carol. Because I was very, why is it? Because uh, my children love it and my husband loved it. I was very pregnant with Jeremy and we were going to move to this house that I loved and we were gazumped at the last minute and mm. honestly I felt like the Virgin Mary. I was there, nowhere to live, about to have my baby. <laughs> All right, it's not that funny. Anyway, <laughs> and so we had to buy the only house that there was and I felt like, well, I don't really want this house. And then added to that, when we finally did move in and the people that were moving out were very late moving out, it was absolutely filthy. I had to start and clean it with my baby in one hand and my hoover in the other. And I just never got over that. And I, I just really, w I could do with this woman because I I want to feel better about this house. Honestly. Because my kids love it. Well, it matters though, Carol. Well, it's a house you, did, you had somewhere to live. You what? weren't out in the street. You did have somewhere to live. Why can't you make it your own? I've tried. I've oh, tried. No, well, I've tried to fall like on a decorating. You could go out with a good-looking man, but if there's no chemistry there, it's never going to... I'm not you. with the house? You, I, honestly, I'm not understanding this. So you feel that you have like, <laughs> chemistry and passion for yeah. a building. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's your own, Carol. Because you're not homely. You don't get off on smelling the washing and the cooking, do you, like I do? <laughs> That's right. Because I've got a gorgeous boyfriend and you haven't. Oh, shut up. You better skip your washing. <laughs> skip the laundry and I'll do my thing. Yeah? You're happy with a blunt mattress, aren't you? As long as you've got somewhere to roll around. <laughs> this is all you need, though. This it's is not. Like, no, come on. You get to our age in life, Carol. You can't be happy to live like a pikey student. <laughs> I'm not living like that. I don't live. I didn't mean that you don't live in nice places, but you don't, do you? It <laughs> <laughs> will come. It will come. You'll earn money, you'll get up, you'll wake up before lunchtime, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but who cares? I mean, really, as long as you've got, as long as I've got somewhere to live, I don't mind. And I've got everything that I need. I've got something to sit on, I've got, you know, I've got a bathroom and the shower, and that's it. And the kitchen works. And, you know, people are always coming around and saying, you, haven't you done anything to this flat yet? <laughs> no. What, why you was I? How many years have you been there? No. <laughs> 12. 12 years. Oh, <laughs> I didn't anything. No, nothing. <laughs> I only, de only decorated it because it caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done you, but she's You a man. are a she's student. A man. I'm not you a are. student. Honestly, if you came around, you'd think it was nice. But it's not like, you know, it doesn't. You wouldn't open a magazine and see my flat in there, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So you'd never see it, would you? No, I'd be reading those oh. magazines. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a little break.